time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. All right, guys, got the Genesis over here to the shop and uh, about to do a little bit more work to it. All right, guys, so now we're gonna pull oil filter off, pull the drain plug out and put some new oil in here. And we've got some Amsoil, uh, 5w40 this is the european grade oil um so it's full 100 percent synthetic uh the filter is the ea uh 15k20 and it is the 15,000 mile oil filter they also have 25,000 mile oil filters and then the european grade oil is uh better than oem uh but they still use the manufacturer's uh, recommended service intervals for that. Uh, you can also get um, the OE oil, you can get the XL oil, and then you can get the signature uh, premium oil. And if you do the signature oil with the 25,000 mile filter, uh, you can go 25,000 miles. And uh, they also have oil analysis kits and everything else, which is pretty awesome. So check out High Revs Garage. Uh, dot com and you can scroll down a little bit you'll see the little link to get you over to the synthetics page and check out uh, everything they have so uh, pretty good stuff so but since we're going all amsoil on this thing got it all badged up we're going to start changing essentially every fluid on it to uh, amsoil and uh, pretty much all the vehicles around uh, for I read the garage, we'll be switching everything pretty much over. So, Amsoil is pretty amazing stuff. All right, guys, so now got the old filter down. Now I'm gonna break loose the old plug here, which is on really tight. Golly, why would somebody put this thing on that tight? Oh, here it goes. Ooh. Try to move quick enough, couldn't do it. Next thing I'm gonna do, take the filter and uh, go ahead and fill it up. Luckily on the Hyundai, it is straight up and down, so you can pretty much just fill this thing up as much as you want, you know, without it coming over. And uh, should be really good. You can tell the design of these filters is really good. So you've got a, a really heavy duty seal on these. It's real nice and thick. You've got plenty of space around the anti-drain back valve in there. You've got really hard construction. These things are super strong, much, much tougher than a, than a normal filter. Um, so really good. Like I said, this is the 15,000 mile. They also have a 25,000 mile. And you see here that at 20 microns, it's 98.7% efficient. So this is an absolute rated filter and that's awesome. At 20 microns, you've got, uh, you know, a, a really good filter where a lot of other companies only do 30 or 40 microns. So they may be 98, 97% efficient, but if it's running 30 or 40 microns, those piece, pieces are enough to mess up your engine. At 20 microns or less, your engine is pretty much safe. Um, 40 microns is the smallest dot you can see with a naked eye. So that's a piece of metal or dirt or whatever else, a uh, piece of sand. Um, whereas if it's down to 20, it's half that. So you've got a little, little tiny piece. And anything smaller than that 
it should be safe. So um, pretty awesome. So yeah, the next thing we'll do is just fill her up. All right, so you want to make sure you got this thing filled up and I let it flow down, fill in, fill up a little bit more. Now I've got a pretty good bit in there. I'm going to take a little bit of this nice clean oil here and just make sure that the edge here or the rubber is just nice and soaked in. Now you'll make sure you have a good seal. Get it up into place. And when you're tightening these, they don't have to be crazy tight. All you need to do is get on there pretty snug with your hands. And when your hands start slipping because they got a little bit of oil on them, that's pretty good right there. So now we'll get the plug back in and fill her up. All right, guys. So now I'm going to <laughs> lay everything on this thing super tight. <laughs> Take this off. Now you'll notice the cap does say 520 here and we're about to put 540 in it so and i know what you're thinking um so uh i did look around multiple websites say to use 540 they have 520 530 and 540 listed on multiple websites so i started looking it up i actually called uh, our guys at amsoil talking to one of the technicians and he said that the reason they say they say they suggest 540 is because Hyundai has updated their specs on these engines, which makes sense because if y'all are watching this, you probably know a lot of these engines have uh, problems with bearing failure, especially if you turn up the boost and do some things to them. So uh, that's happened to multiple ones of them. So using 540, it might be a pretty good idea. Using 100% synthetic Amsoil, it's hard to beat that way. So we will uh, get some added to it here. Everything in there. Check the oil. Go ahead and wipe it. Move it back in. Check, see what it says. And you see the, the level's actually right there, right at the fill mark, the full mark, sorry. Perfect. All right. All right. Last thing, protected by Amsoil. And uh, this is good because I like stickers, uh, but it's also actually somewhat important. There's a couple of different ways to do it, um, but to make sure that if you ever take your car in anywhere or, or it's at a shop or you're getting a recall or anything being done, nobody puts anything else in there, right? Because you got Amsoil in there. You don't want them draining or putting any in. So they actually have a couple tags you can put on the uh, the old the dipstick, they've got a couple other stickers, things you can put in there so that so that they know that hey, this has got Amsoil in it, not to be changing anything out. So. We got a Camaro and a McLaren. Nice. All right, guys, don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating the Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting high revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com.